Hey guys, Darrell Addison at torpedopot.com. Darrell Addison at torpedopot.com. And we're about to hook up a uh, another zone. We have, I think, a total of four zones that we're going to hook up with these uh, timers. And you're looking at zone one. You're probably going to do a lot of our herbs in zone one. A whole planter full of uh, cilantro, some tea. Uh... I'm gonna say zone five, we'll do peppers and things like that, but I want some of my dill, I want all of my herbs, I want them to have before me, the herbs that I use. Um, I know you guys look at celery, I don't know, as a vegetable or whatever, but to me, it has such fantastic flavor. It's truly an herb. I can't think of cooking without celery. I love celery, it's really great. Fresh celery. I don't mean the stuff that's hydroponically grown fresh celery so anyhow so we're going to walk through these zones this is zone number three which uh we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen uh i would say 18 torpedo pots in this one zone 18 torpedo pots and then we have zone this will be uh three which we have two tall torpedo pots in which you can put your strawberries. Uh, these ran for about three years by themselves, unattended. I didn't have to do anything, okay? All I did was plug plants in or I could leave the plants in there. What would I choose to do? But anyhow, uh, they had a potential of doing over 800 strawberries. This is an amazing planter. Um, and again, that's zone number three, right? And then we have zone number two, well, zone number one is here. And that has a substantial amount of planters with it. And here, we already started planting Swiss chard. Uh, we're looking for our, our string beans to come up early. And we planted them maybe about three days ago. So they're good to go. And you can see the watering at the bottom of the planter. That lets you know your planter is running and doing fine. Now, it's cold out. I shouldn't have that water at the bottom, so I'm going to turn them back. But it's just so hard to let go. But I got to turn them back because this is definitely a waste of water here. Um, so this is a separate zone. And um, this right here, of course, would be zone number two. And we have planters that were growing. We just brought the plants from inside outside. And uh, last year, these had over about 50 flowers on them. They die back. We brought them in after they got really cold, so they suffered through the winter also. So you prune them and so they can grow back. And they've been surviving in the house, but we're going to have to bring them back out the house and let them take off. We got them for like maybe $7 at the home, $10 at the uh, plant store. And they are so beautiful. You're gonna see these take off too, okay? Give them their time. Everything takes time. Light plays an important role in everything. And then we have these planters, which is zone two. And these are our microgreens. We're gonna grow some cabbage, oh, excuse me, we're gonna grow some collards, we're gonna grow lettuce. There's gonna be spinach, three different types of lettuce, two different types of spinach, noble spinach. Um, and is uh, what is the other one? I forgot the other name, it should come back to me. But, uh, and then we're going to have kale, we'll be growing in these planters. Um, and it's gonna be great. So the debris you see where my wife went and brought some plants for inside the house. So yeah, we have planters set up inside the house also. All right, so let's count the planters to see what we're going to do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only counting two on the table. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Count from here. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 4, 45, 46, 47, 
48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 planters in this small area. And as you can see, we have other growing solutions that are taking off and they'll be growing also. Now, we get our water pumped from underneath the ground. We're not on city water. But we don't haul water up either. You can adjust your planters like I'm about to adjust those to ensure your plants get the water that it needs to grow. What you're doing right now, growing in the soil in the open field, a lot of our grounds are contaminated. And this gives you a perfect opportunity to switch over to something really fantastic. All right, so I'm going to cut this video off and um, let me do one more thing so you'll understand those who are on the channel and don't haven't seen my earlier videos on this this is the uh, watering system yeah you're saying Daryl you're wasting a lot of water no look at this we have one spigot that's coming out to this manifold and broken it down to four zones two of the zones are operating right now which is the zones with the spinach and the microgreens and the mandevella that we brought outside. This mandevella is operating on its own. And this, you can see, is operating on its own, too. And we have Swiss chard. We have early growers, which are the, um, the peas. You know, I want the peas because it's nutritious for me. But because peas fix the soil with nitrogen, whatever grows after the peas, it's going to grow really well. So, oh yeah, I put 50 seeds for a pea plants inside of each planter. 50 of them. I mean, I love that idea of just doing that. <laughs> and the onions, we uh, had from last year. Yeah, they came back. We took the planter downstairs in the basement and it was growing down in the basement. So it was just returning. We just brought these onions back, oh, I would say about yesterday. And uh, so they're bouncing back. We're gonna put these onions and to another home so we can have our onion planters. You'll see the planters that we had last year with the onions have been doing extremely fantastic. Want to let you guys see this. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.